Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. Let's do weekend energy. Weekend energy. What are we looking at? Whoa, whoa. So we have the Tower, we have the Ten of Crystals, and then we have the Sage of Worlds. And then we have the High Priestess. Okay, so even though Nine of Wands, let me just get one more. Do we have crystals? Four crystals. Okay. Six of Pence. So The tower. Ten of swords. This is the page of pence. The high priestess. Nine of wands. Three of pence. I mean, three of swords. And the six of pence. Okay. So... So, all right, so it looks, it looks bright and it doesn't, okay? It, it's, with this tower moment, it doesn't look like the greatest tower moment. It looks like a realization more than anything with the Ten of Crystals. I don't know if you've been looking at something with like rose tinted glasses on because everything looks super shiny and awesome, but in all reality... It's the Ten of Swords. It's something's done, okay? Um, with the, say, Page of Pence here, I usually look at this as an apology, but not with this deck, okay? With this deck, it's saying you're in the midst of mastering something, a new job, a new career, you know, a new move, or uh, just whatever's new, okay? It, it's like, I don't think it's like you had the inner knowing necessarily. I think it's just with the high priestess here, it's it's sticking to your spirituality. I feel like you're going to be extremely, extremely emotional um, trying to, to ground, to balance yourself with, with synergy being right below, okay? Get creative, especially with it being under the Sage of Worlds, you know, it, it's, you know, with the Tower, the Ten of Crystals, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Crystals, which is all the swords, okay? So what this is telling me is that something disruptive, something abrupt, whether it's abrupt or not, it's, it's the energy, okay? Having to stand your ground, too. You know, things, what it's saying to me is that Things will even out, but you have to have a new outlook, a new approach on things. You got to use your mind. You got to look at something in different, in a different, no, not necessarily. But you got to look at something differently. I, I say that because if you're in this type of energy, if you're in this zone, it's going to be real hard to get to this zone. So you got to stay focused, master your mind, master your thoughts, use your spirituality to help, use any type of belief and hope to pull you through, type energy, having that backbone, not being an ass about it, not hurting other people's feelings or vice versa, you know, it's, you, you, it's grounding, you're going to have to ground yourself after this abrupt decision, whatever happens here, okay, um,
find out. Let's find out what the power is. Tower, tower, tower. So this is, you know, today, Saturday, Sunday, lingering into Monday. Tower, tower, tower. So, it, it's, it's the hermit, okay, it's, it's following the light, okay, it, it's, I don't, whether you saw the light or not, it's, yes, you're, you're still in this mode. Okay, um, guidance, follow guidance, okay, it looks like it possibly would be led, um, a very abrupt energy with the six of cups, okay, so it looks like somebody might try to come back around too, okay, because somebody's here, or it's saying you had a tower moment with this person, um, you really have to go within here, you have to use instincts here. Tell me about the Ten of Crystals. To me, I don't... I, I, this is either going to happen for some people or it's, it's already happened. All right. It, someone's back is turned. It's the it's the King of Swords. So it, it's, it's back is turned. So it looks like it already happened. And now it's like, I don't know if it's tricky or not, but you're the magician. All right. You need to create something new, like I said, right here. There's something new you have to create. So I don't know if there's a breakup or it hasn't come in yet, but now we got the Nine of Cups. So it's like a little arrogant, not to, not like, hey, wish coming true. It's, it's, it's feeling some sort of way. I, I don't see happy here, okay? Unless something comes in and at first it's not happy, you know, but like I'm not I'm not seeing it that way. To me, I mean the king's back is turned. You're not even talking, you know. Um tell me about the high priestess real quick. High priestess. To me this is yeah it's like creating something new. Okay. So it's the high priestess. It's it's that worry. You know, um it's it's the nine of swords, you know, you got all these nines too, but it's, you're worried, but yeah, you're looking at the light, all right, you're not completely trapped, it's not complete anxiety, and I, I think it's not the best energy, but at the same time, you know, you got those two nines, that talks about love, but for some, this is going to come in, but it's not the best energy, and you got to use your intuition here if you want to balance the scales out. But but it's tough because this, this energy right here can go either way. Because someone's past is returning or you don't want to look at this person or somebody doesn't want to look at you for what it is. It's something. Um, so you're worried but not as worried as you were. But there's still worry. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. So you got that twice, you know, you just got one more battle, whatever you're going through, even if this has to do with a lover and no lover, it's going to be one more fight. Yeah, see, to get to your ton of pence, but it, I mean, it, it's coming, you, you're not quite there yet, it, 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 you're not sitting in this comfort yet, you, you know, you're talking about it, the divine's working on it, one last fight, Okay. You might have to let go of this past. I'm not quite sure what's happening here with this tower. It's a, it's a makeup or a breakup. But to, if you ask me, somebody's got their back turned. 
if they want to create something new or if you want to create something new, somebody's got their back turned towards something right now. Haven't been looking at something the right way. I don't know if they're arrogant. You're being arrogant. You got to use your intuition here. But to me, no matter what this is, is the universe is telling me you got one more fight. No matter what's happening, one more fight. Tell me about the three of crystals. It's the Ace of Cups, okay? Um, Self-love, taking care of yourself because it's on the Three of Swords. You want new, you want you want that synergy in your life. You want things to be grounded. You got to take care of you. This is Dolo. Got to take care of you. Tell me about the Six of Worlds. <laughs> to me, that's saying you want that grounding, you know. It's the Queen. It's the Queen of Wands, but her back's turned too, okay? So you can't ground yourself if your back's turned. And you got the Five of Cups, so I don't know if it's if it's petty or not because <clears throat> you're not even looking at those two cups, you know? This is, it's like you, you're not even looking. So for some it's a make up for others it's a break up for others it has nothing to do with love but you're still going through something and the universe is saying listen one more one more little battle you take care of yourself if you need and what they're saying is in order to ground yourself turn your back to petty shit no matter what this petty is you got the inner knowing turn your back to it keep your chin up all right you want that that ten of pens that's your main message. You want that ton of pence? Take care of yourself. Stand your ground. You got one more fight. Turn your back to petty shit. Anything that's petty, you turn your back and you exit out right now. Because you're going through enough. Whatever this is, it could be anything in the past. It could be a home. It could be something you expected. It could be a job. It, it, it is something you've been thinking about. And it looks like something just quite hasn't come into fruition here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Ish, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even see this all as being like a, a love reading, ladies and gents. This could be any area in your life, okay? Do There is obviously something that has to do with love here, okay? Whether it came in or it's not or it's gone or it's a, it's a makeup or a breakup to me. It's like, nah, you're taking care of yourself, with the four of swords, okay? See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's the healing. It's going to get better. You're looking out the window, okay? Here you're inside. Here you're inside. You see no outlet. Here, you're starting to heal. You're blocking things out that no longer serve you. You got to let the past go. So to me, this isn't even a person. It, it's a past. Whatever has happened in the past, let it go and heal. Turn your back to it. Let the Ten of Swords go. Manifest something brand new. Use your imagination. Get creative. Master something. A dream could come true. Okay? It takes time for things to align, ladies and gents. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Okay? It's it's the strength. You have strength to get through this. So, at least you're letting the toxicity go, like I said. See, you're not crying. You're turning your back towards petty shit. You're taking care of yourself. Or this is what you should be. Taking care of yourself. Turn your back towards petty shit. Healing from what's needed to be healed so you can create something new. Get that wish. Get what it is you desire. You're starting off as a page, which is awesome. It's adventurous. It's going. You got to keep the strength. And I'm glad it's not attached to any toxicity right now. So it's you had the tower moment. You got to let it go. So I don't even see a lover in the picture per se. This is saying take care of you. Even if there's a lover in the picture, there's something going on. It's that it's just our energy right now, guys. It's very unpredictable energy. See at the bottom of the deck, it was there too. It's something had to end. You gotta completely turn your back. You gotta completely shut the door. The door has not been shut. It's about to be shut, trust me. It this is if I clarify this, this this world is about to be shut. Tell me about this world. Because it's something already wrapped up. Okay. I can, this is so like one of my stories for this weekend. And this has nothing to do with love for me. Okay. Nothing. So 
and they're having me like stress that with you. Yeah, see the ten of cups. You you shut your door. This is what you're about to get. You gotta shut the door. As soon as you shut that door, or as soon as you make that next step, that next move, is is the ten of cups. Like it's here, and there's that tower. Okay, let it let it crumble. Something is out of your hands here. Let it crumble because what it's bringing is healing. What it, tell me about this four crystals. It's already here. What it's bringing is healing. What it's bringing is this ten of pence. What it's bringing is stability. What it's bringing is, it's bringing something brand new. Okay. You have to, this perspective is you, your life. I don't even want you to incorporate a lover in this read this weekend, ladies and gents, because this unpredictable energy that we're having, this is all about you. You, 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 you got the strength. You can do it no matter what's happening. Just don't, just don't get yourself caught up in anything petty. Let the petty stuff go. Four crystals, please. Um, four crystals. Because something else wants to come in. It's, it's, yeah, it's three of hearts. It was already here. All right? It's already been stabbed. But again, you're walking away from it. You're not sitting there dwelling. So you got all these cards saying you're coming out of it no matter what this is. Honestly, I don't even feel like it's a lover. It can be. But what they're stressing to me is regardless, this is the inner you battling something. Not easy, ladies and gents, okay? So once every door is completely shut, here comes brand new. All right, so tell me once every door is shut, what's, what's next? What's next? Shut your door to this, take care of yourself. It's the same thing, ten of cups. All right, it, it's, it's like it's in the stars. Just it's not there. Same thing. Okay? So, you guys, you got this. Okay? Take care of yourself this weekend. Okay? I'm not going to be around. There was a hold up on the move, guys. Something with the contract. All right? I'm still moving. So, this is why I can put myself in this situation. There's just been a little bit of a delay. But regardless, I still have to leave because it's time. So I had to shut the door, and I will. And you can't let little stuff bother you. You want new, you got to stay positive. You got to stay assertive. You got to, regardless of the hardship, regardless of whatever is happening, chaos, not chaos, regardless, you got to take care of you. You got to stay positive. This is past stuff anyway, all of a sudden, because you'd still be stuck in this. You'd still be crying. You're not. You know what I'm saying? You'd, again, you'd, it'd be dark. You're not, you know, you're, you're turning your back. What's the other one? Oh, yeah, this one. All right, closed. You're not. It, it's still, whatever is happening, it's still painful, okay? It, it, it's sad. It makes your heart sad, no matter what situation ship it is. Things aren't really working out for me right now exactly the way I planned, but I'm not, I'm not this person. I'm not the happiest about the situation, but I know there's a a bigger there's a bigger plan. It's happening exactly the way it's supposed to happen. Okay? Delay it doesn't matter. All right. That's why I think they had me stress that to you because I don't see anybody coming in and out. I, I see I see sorrow. I see you having to take care of yourself. This is that unpredictable energy that comes in and swoops just like that. But it's for the best. Okay, it truly, truly is for the best. So, I'm going to pull you one of these cards for advice. Best advice for this weekend. This energy is only going to last for so long. Because with all this past, this is telling me this is all past pain, past worry, past anger, past, past the yada, 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 yada. It's just kind of still like there because it... It sits with you, you know. That final release is, is needed because no matter what your circumstances is, you're going to the Ten of Cups. So whatever's going down, let it go down. It's going down. Just made me think of, uh, who sings that? Not Mary J. I don't know. Best advice for this weekend. It's going down. Upside. Down. Maybe it is Mary Jane. All right, fallen. Well, we'll see what that's all about. With my glasses, they were on my head, and now they're not. 
So, all right. All right. It's, it's the unknown, okay? It's momentum. It's change. It's you're going down the rabbit hole. You're going down the rabbit hole. All right. So it says, I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. Okay. Okay. So basically, the in-between and the end of what was, the letting go of what it was, the rebirth of a new life, unknown, sorry, unknown outcomes, complete. It's a new process of change. Have you launched yourself into the unknown? Take a risk, dare to follow your instincts without a thought or consideration. You may have to allow yourself to let go of people, places, objects, roles of the way of being. Could be a relationship, could be a type of career, it could be a routine. Okay. Something that's just unraveled for you to move into a different part of your destiny. A fall can be accompanied by del uh, a delusionment, which you had delusion right after with that fall with the tower. A sense of something that's being broken, a shattering of beliefs, a perspective. But in all reality, Alice just needs to fall right now through the earth. In other words, will everything in the world end? No. Will it, Or will you simply be falling and falling with no end at all? No. It will take what it takes. There is a new place and a fresh way of being explored. For now, surrender. All right. You fall into the moment of rebirth. The best possible response is to relax right now, fall and observe, and wonder what it is to come. Know that this was the only way to get through the next stage of the evolution in your next life. This is you entering into your new wonderland. It's a new discovery that's about to happen without, relinqu without relinquishing certain stuff about you. This is the way you will become who you are. This is who you're supposed to be. This is who you become next. So even if you're stagnant for a little while, it's okay. Let it crash. I, I learned the hard way too, right here. You can't you can't control what the where the divine wants you wants things. I was just gonna say me, and I can't. I got no control over that right now. I got no control. I oh the only thing I have control over right now is my peace of mind. So please let me be that leader. Let me be that coach for you. Life is not always easy, okay. But yet, this is what needed to happen to build new. I know this is not feel-good energy, but it's going to be okay. Okay. I love you guys. I will be back probably Monday, and um, something can change overnight, too, at the bottom of the deck, okay? I'll be back Monday, and um, I'll fill you in on what's happening with me so you guys aren't all worrying. But don't don't worry, okay? I'm here to lead by example. Even when things shatter. But it's going it's being presented and you're going about it the right way, no matter how how easy. This is not easy for me, nor do I expect that type of energy to be easy for you. But you got this. Because you're gonna end up exactly where you need to be with the ten of cups and the ten of pence. And you did it because you allowed yourself. You stood up. You, you let things go the way they were supposed to go, graceful or not. Let it be. Turn your back to petty shit so you can ground yourself once again. Okay? So it's like you got to go underground to get back up. You're sprouting. You guys are good, okay? I love you so much. Have a fabulous weekend, guys. Bye.